So last year, we knew we wanted to plant tomatoes in the field this year. Um, tomatoes are big feeders, meaning they need pretty strong soil. Um, and so we planted the field, they need a lot of nitrogen rather. So we planted the field with vetch and clover, V-E-T-C-H, vetch and clover. And they're both legumes. And if you look at this, and I'll sort of pass them around, you should be able to find the vetch root. And it has these little tiny nodes on it, little tiny bumps. That is a legume that is fixing nitrogen for itself. And essentially, we plant that crop, that is nitrogen, really, it's, fixed. it's, it's like a miracle grow <laughs> or the equivalent, inside the root of that plant. And then in the spring, we plow those legumes under and all of that nitrogen decomposes and is slowly released into the soil. We plant the cover crop end of September, sometimes beginning of October. Um, and then that is established to sort of hold the soil over the winter. It grows th slowly. We, there's, we put some winter rye in there as well, something to hold onto the soil. Then in the spring, this is actually a pretty critical month for the soil because this is when the ground is broken. So when the ground is broken, you're exposed to erosion. All of that organic matter is starting to burn off in the sun. You want to get it quickly covered and green again as possible. We knew that tomatoes were going in here and we needed a bunch of nitrogen. Our soil test told us that. So we wanted nitrogen fixing cover crops. Uh, down in this field below here, we planted potatoes uh, a few months ago. And before the potatoes, we put a cover crop of buckwheat. Buckwheat mines potassium. Potatoes need a lot of potassium. So we planted buckwheat to get that soil ready to feed this year's crop of potatoes. The other thing we add to the soil, which I highly recommend if your soil test requires it, is we put on about three inches of leaves on this field and tilled those under as well. In the fall, you tilled them In the fall. So we, because we're doing it on a larger scale, we have landscapers come and dump all the leaves from your lawns onto our farm, but they could just as easily be dumped from your lawns onto your vegetable garden. Um, three or four inches of leaves provide all of that carbon that eventually will be plant food.